nutmeg the nutmeg is very optional you can skip that the salt must not go direct have a direct contact with the yeast it's very important that was the reason why i put it in first and mixed it with the flour and later i added the sugar and the yeast together i am using the pan angeli uh, products uh, of of the yeast that is the product i use for all my bakings they've got actually the best products here in italy there i later added my vanilla aroma any aroma of your choice is very very fine if it's the liquid one you're using i would uh, advise you add it to the wet ingredients that i will be setting in a moment so these are the wet ingredients i'm going to just go breaking one egg into uh, the cup and i'll mix it with the evaporated um, milk and just whisk it together I've got other recipes of bread. You can check it out. I've got one of it coming up up here and even in the description section below. I later poured my warm water into the mix and now we are ready to start mixing the uh, dried ingredient and the wet ingredient together. If you are using your hands or a spatula or a toner stick, it's very, very fine. The same thing, mix your dried ingredients separately, mix the wet one separately, then later add the wet one into the dried one and use your hands, your hand mixer, your tonic stick, your spatula, anything you want to use is very fine. But with the mixer, it's very, very much more easier, faster and stressless. <laughs> So this has been working now for like three to five minutes and uh when i saw that the dough has already formed like it has already formed because i'm using all-purpose flour i started um putting in the butter After putting in the butter, allow it to work and let that dough come out well smooth properly. I actually got these tips from uh, Sweet Ajele and Nanaba's Kitchen. This particular recipe is a combination of two recipes I watched and I truly love it and I, I really appreciate the tips I got from both of them and I used it on this particular recipe and the result was so so good even though i have baked other bread before but this particular recipe was different and the little tips i put in which i got from the two of them really helped this recipe come out even better than the other bread recipes i have made before go check it out i've made coconut bread agaga bread so go check them out and see the differences so after uh, the uh, misa missed it, I'm still going to knit it again with my hands just to give it that stretch as in make it that make it get to the point whereby the flour, the dough bounces back. OK, it's very, very important. And that is what makes your agege bread, agege bread. If it is not like that then it is not a giggy bread <laughs> i'm just gonna put it in a bowl okay that i used and i have leftover butter around you can just use a uh, oil or butter so that it won't stick later when it rises okay i'm just gonna rub it around and cover it with um a plastic and leave it to uh, rise for like one hour so have you liked this video yet you like what you're seeing please do smash on the like button and i really appreciate it that would make me to do more videos so as you can see it has tripled in size and i'm just gonna punch the air out and start dividing it into three to make my bread 
<laughs> and if this is the first time of passing across my channel or seeing my video you are very very welcome to my channel please consider subscribing click on the notification button so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video on this channel i'm a godly lifestyle i do recipes i share tips on air air styles afro styles because i am a mom that lives abroad i'm a pastor's wife i am a minister and i am here to share with you everything i do as a mother as a, a pastor's wife and as a uh, immigrant that lives in italy yes there are things we can do, so many things we can do as a mom, as a pastor's wife, to make our lives just better and easier. These are one of the things I'm going to be showing you, showing you homemade recipes for your family. God bless you, and I'm so glad to have you here. And for my returning subscribers, thank you so much for always coming by. I so much appreciate you. So as you can see, I already divided the dough into three parts i am just gonna start um using my rolling stick to just make it smoother you can skip this part you can use your hands it's very very okay <laughs> i'm actually making three different types of uh shapes three different shapes yeah three different type of Agaga bread. If you know you are in Nigeria and you know what I'm talking about, as an hour bread is in Nigeria, you would know what I am saying. So I made this this one, and I'm also going to show you the way I made the other ones as well. section which of the sizes you prefer which of the shapes you prefer i love the small ones that you just open and put your akara inside of fish or suya and just press it and eat it and top it with cold zebo yes after um, i finished shaping them as you can see i left it for another 30 minutes for it to rise and now i'm just going to bake it uh for bake them for like 30 minutes yes 30 minutes on uh 170 degree scissors so thank you so much for watching until i see you on my next video god bless you bye bye <laughs>